Hi, I'm Scott with Home Perfect Restoration. So you saw water standing on your ceiling, you saw a puddle of water on your floor, and you think that you have water damage, and you wanna know what the next steps are. There's gonna be a lot of advice and recommendations and things like that going on, but one of the worst things that you can do is call your insurance company first. The reason behind that is if you call your insurance company and you let them know that you have water damage and they send somebody out and it turns out that the damage is minimal, it's below your deductible, or maybe it's something that's not covered on your policy, they can still raise your rates on your policy premiums every year for the next three to five years. So the first thing that you should do is stop the water if you think that it's an active problem. You can come on here on social media, look for recommendations, call a restoration company to come out and do a thorough evaluation and an investigation to what's wet, what's affected, and have an idea of what those costs are going to be to determine if you even need to file an insurance claim. If your deductible is $1,000 and say the damages is $1,500, it's really not worth filing a claim for that $500 coverage that you're gonna get. The reason is, is insurance companies are raising rates on a regular basis after a claim because they are now analyzing risk. They know that you've had one water damage situation. There's a likelihood that you can have more because your pipes are getting older. So most likely you will see an increase in your insurance premiums. To have a insurance claim to get $500, but then maybe pay out three, four, five thousand dollars in higher premiums for the next three to five years, risk getting dropped by your insurance, risk having it harder to get insurance, it's just really not worth it. There's some people that have $5,000 deductibles, $10,000 deductibles. It's a really a good opportunity for everybody to look at what their policy is right now. Make sure you have good coverage. Make sure that you have a reasonable deductible that you can afford if something unfortunate was gonna happen. But please don't make the first call be to your insurance company. Get a very thorough investigation and an understanding of what those costs are gonna be.